If you're running out of storage on your iPad or iPhone, or you just want to transfer your files to or from your devices, this is the USB flash drive you need. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why. Let's go. This is the SanDisk dual drive, and the reason I love it is it has both USB-C and a standard USB-A connector on the drive, which means that you can plug it into your iPads or your iPhones with USB-C, as well as all your other devices that have either USB-C or USB-A. So if, like me, you've got a room full of gear and some of it's USB-C and some is A, this is a great drive for transferring your files. If your iPhone or iPad has a lightning connector, you're not left out. The SanDisk iExpand series comes with both USB-A and a lightning connection. This is the older version, but there's the newer version of both this and the dual drive linked in the description of this video. And those links are affiliate links, so if you make a purchase, they will break off a small chunk and send it my way. Now these drives come in 64, 128, and 256 gigabyte models, meaning that there's one that's going to be right for you. And to use them, it's dead simple. All you need to do is plug it directly into the USB-C port, and like magic, it's going to pop up right here on your device. Now to use this drive, all we need to do is go to the files app here on our iPhone or iPad. So type in files, tap on that one, and it's going to open up the files app. Over here on the left under locations, you'll see no name or whatever the drive is called. We're going to tap on that. And here's all the files that I've already copied onto this drive. You can use folders and you can use pretty much any file format. More on that in a moment. Before we dive in and show you how to copy to and from this drive, a quick note on formatting. These will come formatted as an FAT standard format. That means it's going to be compatible across Windows, Mac, and iOS. Please don't format it as NTFS on your Windows PCs. It won't work on here. If it's an Apple format, as long as you don't want to use it on a Windows PC, you can use use that so any of your Apple standard formats will work but I would just leave it as FAT because that will have the best compatibility across all your devices. If you've not used the files app before it's quite simple we can simply just tap and drag files between locations or what I prefer to do is hit the select button here because this way we can select multiple files and then down the bottom here if you tap on the more button you can actually go to copy and copy these files. Now if I want to put these over on my iPad or on my iCloud our drive location, I can do that. Let's jump into this GarageBand folder and I can just tap and hold and it'll pop up like this. We'll tap on paste and that'll paste those files into this new folder. And you can see you actually do get a little progress window and a progress bar there for your files, which is a lot better than it used to be in previous versions of iOS and iPad OS. So once those are copied, they're there and you're ready to go. Let's show you how to get something off of your iPad or iPhone and over to the drive. Let's grab this file. This is a video file of me doing a cover of a Beatles tune. This time we're gonna use the drag method. So if you've got your drive there, all you need to do is tap and hold and drag and drop it directly on the drive and you can see up the top there it gives you a little progress bar if we now go over to this drive there you go it's been added for us a quick tip for my garage band iMovie and logic pro friends you can see i've got some zip files here and that's because we can't copy these project files without zipping them up so if i wanted to say bring this demo of goats what i first need to do is tap select tap on that one and in the bottom right corner tap on the more button and hit compress this is going to zip that up into a .zip file, which is going to be compatible with the flash drive and any other file format. The same thing applies if you're copying this over to say Google Drive or Dropbox or any other type of storage. And now all we need to do is tap, hold, drag, drop, and put this on our drive. And there you go, it's going to copy that one across. You can see at the top there, it's got the progress bar. And once it's done, it drops straight here into our drive. That's now got a copy there. If we wanted to free up space on our iPad, all we need to do is go back over to here and delete out any of these files that we no longer need because they're backed up to our flash drive. And when we're done with all of our file copying and transferring, all we need to do is remove the drive. There's no safe removal or anything like you have on a Mac. You can just pull it out as long as it's not copying a file at the time. They're all going to be safely on this drive. Now, if you want more storage, can you use an SSD or a spinning hard drive? Yes, you can. You can plug those in the exact same way. If they have a 
USB connector as opposed to USB-C, you may need something like this, which is a USB-C to USB adapter, which you can plug directly into your iPhone or iPad and then connect up multiple USB devices. And the benefit of this is it has USB-C power pass through because some of your larger drives may need more power than what your iPad or your iPhone can provide. So if you're getting a this device uses too much power error, then you will need yourself an adapter like this one. This is also linked in the description and there's another video showing you how to use something like this down there as well. And the beauty part of this is we can just flick our drive over to USB mode, plug it directly into one of the multiple USB ports there, and we're gonna have access to our files as well as any other gear such as our USB audio interface, MIDI keyboards, or anything else we wanna plug into our device. And once again, if you're using a lightning-based iPhone or iPad, you can use something like the iExpand drive. This does use a separate app, as you can see there, to actually transfer your files, but you can actually plug these in just via USB if you use the Lightning to USB 3 adapter, and that's also linked down in the description. It works just like this one, but you have to buy the genuine Apple version and transfer your files using your standard USB. There you have it, the SanDisk Dual Drive, USB-C, USB-A, super flexible and versatile. Check out the links in the description for where you can pick one up, as well as all of the other gear that I use here for my iPad and iPhone. Hope you found this one useful. I'll see you next time.